everyone hope you're having an amazing day it's saturday march 30th 2024 and right now it is 4 17 pm new york time outside temperature is 61 fahrenheit which is 16 degrees celsius but it's quite windy and i'm here at hudson yet start my video from here i went to new york international auto show i filmed there and right now i'm on my way to home so i thought let's do a live stream and if you just joined, then hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And we're gonna take a stroll through Mitta Manhattan on this beautiful spring day. I had a plan to walk on High Line and see what's going on. Oh God, so windy. For some reason, Hudson here is always windy. People are losing their hats. These are the cherry trees that I showed you earlier was in bloom, but it's gone. So this year in the National Auto Show here in Jebit Center was pretty fun. And I can't wait to share that video with you guys. Mostly I'm going to post that video after Easter because tomorrow is Easter Bonnet Parade. So, on a following day, Monday, I'm gonna try to post my experience from International Auto Show here in New York City. So stay tuned for that. Live stream is not possible inside Zebit Center because the connection is not that great and I don't wanna ruin this video with some poor internet connection. So I just filmed it and I'm gonna post it Monday. It looks like a beautiful spring day, but I wish it wasn't too windy. Hopefully on high line, we're going to see some uh, flower trees. 
that has started to bloom. Hey Sal, Alicia, welcome. How are you guys planning for the Easter? A lot of tourists. I don't know how crowded High Line will be, but it would be fun to see all these people enjoying this beautiful weather. Because it's been a while I haven't done any walk on High Line. Oh my god, look at that. It's been a while I haven't seen High Line this busy. I'm walking off to meet packing district, the direction towards the Chelsea market. Hey Dan Hopper, Charlene, Daniel, how are you doing guys? Anthony, Dan. Usually what happened when I walk on High Line, either late in the evening or after dark so not a lot of people but now since it's beautiful spring day a people a lot of people want to take a walk here and see this elevated park but I'm people's person, so I enjoy seeing crowd and I love explore crowded place. It would be even shocking if there is no one is here walking on the high line on this beautiful day. You can see this old rail track and the greens are pop up now. What do you think? This wide angle looks better or the other other view with the regular lens? May your mind which view you guys prefer. I think this wide angle for now looks pretty good. You can see a lot of things. Daniel saying wide, awesome. These people are already set up their flower trees right here. Seems like Hoya, but they are not. Beautiful architecture right here. I know, I like I bought a washer last week, oh my god, or two weeks ago, I'm like, oh my god, I'm not doing that one. I'm still renting So how long is that going to be? She'll be here for the week, and then she leaves the day to start. Maybe, I'll have to see if I have a day. Maybe YouTube and... 
I'll keep changing depending on the mode. Yeah, Monday through Thursday, it's gonna be slightly wet weather with all those rain. But thanks God, tomorrow the weather will be better. Like weather will be like pretty much the same as today. Hey Valerie, hello. So packed. It used to be when we were kids, it was like coach and Sydney or something. I remember Hey Jeff, good to see you. Look at that. We are here on High Line, but it's unbelievably packed. Even though not a lot of greeneries, not its big beauty here yet, but still a lot of people enjoying it. You can imagine how packed Central Park is today. Yesterday we were in Roosevelt Island and I gave you an update of the Cherry Blossom Festivity. It would be nice if they had some uh, magnolias. Look at it, guys. Unbelievable. A lot of these trees have started to bud up. Hey, Nadji Nancy. Hello. Hello, Bonnie Bonbon. Welcome. How are you doing, Bonnie Bonbon? This is an exit right here. If anyone want to exit, they can. There is no way you can pass people. You had to use your New York tactic. But I think I'm gonna get out of high line soon. It's just people and people. You had to like just flow with, flow with the flow. I mean, follow the flow. Now you know why I like to explode things on the evening. <laughs> I 
I guess now it's time for my. Hey, it's time for my New York walking style. I gotta pass a lot of people with respect because I cannot, I cannot linger behind people. <laughs> I gotta walk like. The real way. We need to yeah. This. this is the original. I don't want to cut a lot of people. It's okay, yeah. Okay, I'm getting out here. I don't want to walk on High Line anymore. <laughs> Got enough of High Line. It's not enjoyable at all. It's just sticking behind people. Better just walk in the sidewalk, see the city streets and things like that. By the way, this is 10th Avenue. Yeah, now much better. 10th Avenue and West 23rd Street right here. New York Burger Company. Look at it. You can actually see how crowded High Line is. It's a very narrow path. And also, it's kind of risky. That's why I just left High Line. In case of any emergency, it's gonna be very chaotic and it's gonna be so tough to get out of High Line. So don't wanna take that risk. Seems like a great restaurant right here. Hey Marjorie, hello. Oh, very elegant outdoor dining space. Very elegant, I like it. It doesn't look cheap at all. They had nice heated spot. And these beautiful pear trees, oh my gosh. That's gonna be the best view so far. Look at how well shaped these trees are. Hundred and ninety two books.
familiar, just like we established this really cool friendship. This is the High Line Hotel, like one of the coolest hotels. They had a double-decker bus sitting, sitting area right here, like this High Line Hotel. Such a cool hotel here in this area. This, the High Line Hotel. And that's a barrel building over there. This is 20, 20th Street. And 10th Avenue. And right now it's around 4.38 p.m. New York time. And as I say, it's 61 Fahrenheit, 16 Celsius. Freshly roasted coffee, Arbana Cafe and Gallery. Hey there, Angela Q, welcome. By the way, this is High Line, and this portion of High Line, you can actually sit right there and enjoy this New York City traffic. Almost oh, all of them. Not too far from the Chelsea market. Here. Also, Chelsea market will be like so insanely packed as well i mean i was there yesterday barely could walk like as i say that beginning of april or end of march new york city tourism will be back in like 100 percent starting from end of january till end of march are kind of the slowest month other than that new york city is always busy Guys, make sure if you're enjoying this video, hit that like button. A 
Lamborghini. This year in a national auto show, all the car brands, they had their EV and mainly their main focus was EV. That was cool how people are really get into EV thing. Chelsea Market now open seven days a week. Oh gosh, what's going on? Hong Kong, Hong. Like people who used to driving at night here in New York City, it's gonna be so annoying and like at first they're gonna be hesitate to drive during the day. Like because daytime driving is way more harder than you thought when you had to deal with all those traffic and stuff. Married saying Easter Hong. Could be. Billy they did, but all those outdoor dining area will be back in the summer when temperature will be warmer. This is uh, Arctic house, you can enjoy some immersive art experience inside, right here. I've been there many times for different events, got invited. I like it. It's really immersive. You, you will feel like you are inside the art. By the way, on my left, this is Chelsea Market. <laughs> Horn Symphony. Starbucks Razor Roastery. These Starbucks Razor have got some the, some of their like premium or exclusive thing that you're not gonna get on your regular Starbucks. Welcome to the meat packing district. Completely a different vibes out here. 
I kind of miss the leaf flower festival. They're not doing it anymore. I don't know why. But that leaf flower festival here at Meatpacking District was really nice. A lot of different florists from all over to the New York City had the opportunity to decorate. Here people are enjoying outdoor performance. This is 14th Street. If I walk towards uh, east on 14th Street, Union Square will be there. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm heading towards down. Maybe I can check out the village. Uh, you had to go to the 14th Street and 8th Avenue How for far the is nearest. That? Uh, just take 14th Street and walk like for five minutes, and you're gonna find okay, one. No you. problem. All right, looking for the nearest train station. These azaleas love shade. Like, they doesn't like the full sun but they definitely enjoy the morning sun and afternoon shade for the better and longest bloom. This is Gansevoort Street. End of this Gansevoort Street, you will find the Manhattan first ever public beach, Gansevoort Peninsula. this way and the Whitney Museum. I can imagine that later this evening it will be even even busier. Especially the village. All the time weekends are the best to explore village. This is Hudson Street, by the way. More Cobblestone Street right here. With some really cool looking brownstone. Actually, this is some brick house. Hey, Firestrom, Tony, welcome. Now this area is much calm and quiet. Oh, wow. Coming up 
my favorite tree, magnolia. Right at that moment, with all those pear tree, the village looks so pretty. Look at it. Looks like a movie. We got a deep dive inside the village. Look at this nice little park right here. Beautiful magnolia. I would say that give it a week, less than a week, all this magnolia will be its peak bloom. I mean, now they're already in there like halfway through the bloom, but give it a week or so, it's gonna be its peak. Oh wow, look at that way. And you can see one vaulted center on this background right there. Sorry. This is Blicker Playground. In the same street, if I walk at night, you might not even recognize that I was here. That's a cool sculpture. Oh, I want to walk right here. I see a lot of beautiful uh, pear trees over there. The Magnolia Bakery on my right. Townhouse for sale. Easily a couple of millions.
like these five you will not get after two weeks because once these pear trees like they are their peak bloom they will be gone so quickly and surprisingly on spring it's always very windy and that's quite affect the bloom tulips Another thing I really like about the village, this corner cafe, like soft music. Can you like imagine the vibe right now? With the soft music, you can grab a coffee. another townhouse for sale two actually right here and there or is it the same one? Oh no it's two these two leaves are already a couple of them start to bloom So far, the best view right here. Loving it. A lot of people are taking some photos right here. Oh my gosh, gotta take some photo here too. The taxi even got the best view. Let me show you the wide angle. This is Waverly Place and West 11th Street, if anyone want to know the address. This is right here. I don't know how this happens. Mm -hmm. I pay a $10,000 credit card bill every month. <laughs> uh, marker saying, Hi, Sifat. My family loves your channel. Please greet my son, Pax. He's home, uh, feeling sick. Thank you and keep up the amazing work. Hey, Pax. I hope you will feel better. And thanks for enjoying my content. I appreciate that, Pax. And thank you. Thank you so much, Pax. Feel better soon. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Look at it. The view. I should take some selfie right here. But 
Thank you so much, Pax. Once again, appreciate that. That's phenomenal. Village, the best. Like, before any car comes, I'm gonna walk right here. Look at this. such a great contrast. You had to just wander around the city in order to find the best spot. There is no like fixed area. There are, but it's not guaranteed that if you go there, you're gonna have the same experience as I do. It's always depend on the time and the weather. Right here, a restaurant, right? Well, thanks, Davy. In upcoming days, I'm gonna give you guys a lot of tour like this and show you different festivity from different parts of New York City. Where I know for sure if I go there, I'm gonna have such a fun experience. This is AIDS Memorial right here, this thing called AIDS Memorial. I'm very tempted uh, to check Central Park. Maybe I'm gonna do it tomorrow because a lot of magnolias right now in peak bloom. So yeah. I mean not peak, but they got most of the bloom already. This is 7th Avenue South and West 11th Street. Hey, Mafinski, how are you? I got a gift card. Oh, this is even prettier. Hey, Inspired Live, welcome. Guys, make sure you hit that like button. Hey there, Yvonne. West Village florist. Thank you. 
beautiful atmosphere everywhere. Uh, Yvonne, we are here in the village, just roaming around, looking for some of the gorgeous flower trees, like just a random stroll. Such a gorgeous spring day. I'm heading towards actually uh, Jefferson Market Library. I know there will be a lot of trees, cherry trees, that I'm, I mean, not cherry, magnolias, that I'm really tempted to show you. Yes, Inspired Life. I did start at High Line, but High Line is like overly packed. I walked for 20 minutes and I fed up. I gave up and I just exit High Line because I'm not enjoying making video there today. It's like bumper to bumper here. This is Jefferson Market Library. And look at all these magnolias I'm about to show you now. If this park open, we're gonna get inside for a better view. I don't know that if it's open on Saturday. No, I think the garden is closed. Like. But you can see it from here. They do. They do smell so nice. This is Jefferson Market Garden. Maybe we'll come back. Hey, Pink Panda, hello. Not only magnolias, but also tulips start to pop up here. These magnolias had, has the most fragrance, this one. Even though their flowers are a little bit smaller than the other mag magnolias but this smells better I agree Nancy I do need a bigger backyard I can imagine that it's just like 
saying it's hard. This is 6th Avenue, crossing 10th Street. The only issue yet, the nighttime temperature. The nighttime temperature is still not above 40 degree yet. Uh, it's like 37, 39. Uh, Taylor, yeah, mostly. But there are several types of magnolias, but so far you will see most commonly the one I showed you earlier, but there are others as well, but not that common. Firestrom saying she has a cherry blossom tree in the garden. Oh, that's awesome. I got a cherry tree. That's mostly a shower cherry because if you like want to produce sweet cherry, you need like two different types of cherry tree in order to have sweeter and bigger fruits. But if you have a sour tree, you don't because like they graft two tree in a one tree that's a pretty good thing about sour tree so you can just have one tree and it will give you fruits flowers and i'm also like trying sour cherry cherries so no issue with that i just get it two years ago it's still like small uh, it's still going through a lot of pruning shapes for the better and affordable size. Hey, Pink Panda, saying to buy yourself a chocolate bunny, Sefa. Thank you so much, Pink Panda. That's so kind of you. Appreciate that. Thank you so much, Pink Panda. Happy Easter and enjoy your rest of the day. Thank you so much. Via 6th Avenue, I'm heading up towards uh, south. I mean, north, my bad. I didn't know. Yeah, for sure, Davy. And also, this year, I'm planning to go to upstate again for the cherry picking. I usually went there every year with my families. And have a lot of fun there so I'm gonna continue doing it this year as well it's such such a nice family trip also there might be another surprise for you guys I'm gonna go somewhere fun and show you a lot of flowers this year I already have my tickets now I, I just had to find some time and go there and show you that flower heaven there will be 80 million flowers i'm not gonna say what kind of flowers and a lot of you might already guessed it but the only thing i will say that it's pretty much two hours of drive from new york city and you can see 80 million flowers and i might film the drive from New York City to that particular farm. Wow, look at it. This is 14th Street. I should have walked here. 
a lot of pear trees are now in bloom. Also in downtown Manhattan, Pump House Park. I'm gonna show that, uh, but for your reference, it's right near the One Walted Center. Uh, just go to the Pump House Park, and there there will be thousands of tulips. I think last year I heard 50,000 tulips are there at the Pump House Park. That's pretty sick with a great view of Jersey City on the background. Can't wait that bloom either. So far, how are you guys enjoying this daytime live stream? Let me know in the comments and also make sure you give a like if you're enjoying it. I will know for sure. It's not sunflower for sure. Hey there, Muffinski. Thank you so much. Have a great day, Muffinski. Thank you. Thank you so much, Muffinski. Have a great day. Enjoy your rest of the day. Oh, thank you, Angela. Angela. My bad. I love nature and I always enjoy showing it around. It's a jacket. It's a vintage jacket. A company called Vintage. because uh, even though it looks nice and sunny, but with the wind, it feels cold. And also, slowly temperature is dropping. And I'm gonna be, ho I'm gonna be out for a while. So yeah, I had to have some popper extras with me. Uh, inspired live I'm not too sure about that I had to take a look I'll get back to you
This is men's warehouse. They got some really good deal. If you had a homecoming party, feel free to check out men, men's warehouse. They got good deal always. Yeah, this building is really cool at this corner. Oh my god, who dump a lot of mattresses? One, two, three, four. Four mattress. <laughs> Looks new. I don't know what's wrong with that. No, Susan, I don't think so. There is any mattress store nearby. That's why I just uh, like a little bit curious who threw it outside and it even had their plastic bags. I mean, it wrapped with some nice plastic. A lot of people, I mean, here in New York City, they took this kind of used thing and wash clean and sell it. So they will took it probably. That's why a lot of people just leave it their furniture outside rather than dumping it. Nancy saying bed bug could be high high chance. Not factory. Not calling us. Come on, check it us. Hey, Mike. Yeah, Sal, I mean, I know that, but that's not always the case. I saw a lot of mattresses without a plastic wrap. And I show that live as well. <laughs> a lot of time people just throw it because they doesn't need it. So they will throw it. <sighs> but yeah, bed, bag, bed bug issue here in New York City could be fatal. <laughs> Sometimes people throw everything in their house in order to get rid of bed bugs. Bed bugs, mice, cockroach. But that usually happens with uh, the old buildings and if you're not cleaning your place properly on a regular basis. So it doesn't matter if you had a new house, but if you don't clean it, that's gonna happen. 
or sometimes bed bug could come from a different people. Like a lot of time people share their house or apartment with roommates. Let's say you got a new roommate and he got bed bugs from his previous apartment and he just transferred that or she just transferred that to your apartment. So this is how like they roam around. Luckily, I haven't had deal with anything yet. Neither bed bugs or cockroach. But sometimes we do have to deal with rats, but not like not like too much. Rat traps just works fine. Oh yeah, pink panda all comes from next apartment, next door apartment. Yeah. Or next door house. Hey Alex from UK, welcome. Hey Sean from Florida, good to see you. How is the weather, Sean, in Florida? Oh my god. The lady on that car opened the window and screaming. Like this one. She's upset, very upset. Hey, TJ Wen. No, 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 Davy. I think it's just their private, private conversation or a personal conversation. We are here, 28th Street and 6th Avenue.
uh, not really, you can just freely follow my path. Like, you can just walk on high line, get out at mid packing district and keep continue walking towards the village and then continue walking towards the one vaulted center. It's gonna be pretty smooth without any problem. We got five seconds to cross the street. This steakhouse right here is very popular. Oh, look at this dog. Pretty cute. Hotel, bed shed, going for a cleaning. Hey Darren from Australia. Hey Darren. This kind of like three wheeler by NYPD. Thirty Third Street Path train Station. Emma from UK, welcome, welcome Emma. Uh, Trevor, it's not actually a parade. It's kind of a gathering where people showcase their creative bonnet and walk around Fifth Avenue. The tradition goes back, back to 1800, but it's technically not a parade. Street closer right here. Hey ABD, hello, hello John. It's nothing about New Yorker Firestorm. In general, some people are loud, some people are quiet. I'm not too far from the Herald Square. I think that's gonna be our ultimate like destination. Oh, I think today Batman celebrate their 85 years. Is there any Batman fan right here? I think in the village, 186 Prince Street, there was a pop-up and they give away 4,000 like vintage Batman comic book with a pop cycle. It was too late for me.
Yeah, most of the buildings, modern building nowadays in New York City, like made with glass. I mean, their outside portion completely glass. Hopefully later this evening it's not gonna be rain. Hope not. Clock. Carol Square is crazy busy right now. Hey, Magdalia, hello. You can imagine how crowded inside Macy's right now. I mean, I could walk up to Bryant Park because that that my train station. Yeah, I'm not gonna end here since I had to get to Bryant Park. So let's keep walking. Uh, I think it's near uh, third. Madison Avenue and it's near Grand Central Manhattan Manhattan comic I forget the exact address can recall right now it's near Grand Central It's kind of a rush hour and it's Saturday, Easter weekend, so everything had to something to do with the crowd. All combined thing. And usually on the weekends, it's busy in New York City. We start our walk from uh, 
huts in here, then we walk on High Line for a little bit, then went to Chelsea, mid packing district, and then West Village, and back at Midtown Manhattan near Macy's, and ended up hopefully at Brighton Park. What a long walk. I think I walked a bit fast, otherwise the same path I could like walk slow and make it two hours. But I just walk a little bit fast. Hopefully it wasn't that rush in the video. But as a New Yorker, I usually walk slightly fast. Inspired life saying you are super quick. I mean, <laughs> every New Yorker is quick. Or even if you are slow, just move to New York City, give it a year or so, you're gonna be quick as well. And that's why New Yorkers get so mad and rude at people when you stop in the middle of the sidewalk and looking for direction and or just chatting so just don't block the sidewalk everyone like always in a rush step aside that's the harsh truth sometimes some people get really upset when you just stand in the middle of a sidewalk and do nothing and New York is a big city. You should have a proper plan before you visit it. Without a plan, it might be tough for you to enjoy the city fully. Hey, Cosmo, good to see you, man. Another fun thing you're gonna see uh, in the summer when the temperature will be extremely hot, a lot of people are gonna open the fire hydrant and a lot of kids and adults gonna cool them off. <laughs> That's happened a lot, especially that happened in the neighborhoods. <laughs> You'll not see much here in Manhattan, hey, but yeah, look at the Bryan Park. Except the lawn, every inch at Bryan Park right now is like busy, packed. Oops, you cannot drink outside of this barricade right here. 
that's good. There is a security guy. He said, no, you can't go outside with your drinks. I'm going to give you a ticket. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in to this early live stream in this fine Saturday. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, then before you leave, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and I hope to see you all in another video. Till then, stay safe, stay positive, and keep exploring New York City with me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.